Not the most impressive night from QB1. But good enough. There were some spots where he shined. There were some other spots where he didn't shine. So, Vlad, we need to put a spotlight on some stuff that Tua is doing. His ball control or ball safety or whatever you want to call it is extremely questionable. That fumble. It's ridiculous. He had the ball like out away from his body, a couple times away from his body. The interception was, I don't know what he was doing. Why do you know what? Here's another something I don't understand, Cousin. With quarterbacks, man. I know they're trying to avoid the pocket. This is not only about two. This is all court. Why do they go backwards? Why? Why? It's a fast game. No. Throw the damn ball <laughs> away. Get out. It's a fast game. Get out of the pocket so that when you throw the ball away, it's not a loss of down. Right? But stop going backwards. Because when you're going backwards, you run. the ball is loose. It's not like the ball is near you. The ball is loose, so if somebody tackles you, it's easy for the ball to pop out. And it's happened too much. It's hap- it's it's too much with them. And it's anyway, it's a snap. It's 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 when he's running uh, uh running out of the pocket, getting escaping pressure. I don't know what it is, but he's been leading the league in fumbles for like too long for his, as a quarterback. His ball protection is questionable at best he had that fumble where i don't know why he had the ball all the way away from his body he threw the bad interception but he compounded that by trying to make a tackle with his head and got kicked in the head by the way he's lucky he didn't get a concussion again and get pulled out again in prime time he plays very cavalier and i think it's one of those things vlad where he's trying to make up for mistakes or trying to hustle and it goes back his whole career started at alabama they're up 31 nothing it's not even halftime yet. He's trying to make a play for some reason when they're up 31 nothing against Mississippi State and breaks his hip. And all the other plays where he's getting concussed. Earlier this year against Buffalo, instead of going down when he has a first down, leads with his head, gets a concussion. Last night, throws an interception, tries to make a tackle with his head. So, Vlad, if you had a dislocated shoulder, what would be the last part of your body you would use to try to make a tackle? It's not being soft. It's not being scared. It's being smart. Would you, if you had a dislocated shoulder that was recovering and you're in the game, try to lead with your shoulder? In what world does that make sense? It's what he did tonight. And once again, we should be celebrating. We're celebrating. What a great game. The defense was fantastic. Zach Sealer, such a great story, by the way. Cut from, was living in an RV with his wife. He said, you know, he had to just live out of the RV because he never knew where he was going to be living next. Got cut from the Ravens a couple times, landed here in Miami. And for all the people last year that said, you'll see Zach Sealer, he's a fraud. He was held up by Christian Wilkins. Well, maybe he's getting held up by Clayus Campbell. But no, Zach Sealer is a real. (laughs) Okay, if you're one of those people arguing, you can do that. But he has a great one-two punch with him and Christian Wilkins. He's a great one-two punch with he and Clayus Campbell. This defense tonight, of course, Jalen Ramsey, like we said, having an all-pro season has been fantastic. But Tua Tungvaloa, he is the engine that makes this machine run. And